Right, a few people have asked about this forge that I've built. So I uh, decided to do another quick little mobile video for you all to see whilst it's off and you can actually have a look. So it's a side blast water cooled shoe iron design. Uh, there's the tube, as you can see. Put the light on some. There you are. Just the snout sticking out. This is like a concrete refractory sort of stuff. But it's not actually taking any of the heat. And you can see there's another shelf at the other side just to stop the pile of coke basically falling away. As you can see here, this is all just ash. There's nothing in there. I've literally just cleaned it out for you, everyone can see. And then this is the, the water tank. And you can see there the air pipe. If I try and point gingerly here. This is the, the water cooled tank. This is the air pipe from the three way air valve. And that just runs into that big piece of channel you can see there to a snout there it is sticking through and there is the front of it that's made of uh, eight millimeter plate or three apes for you Americans and the tank itself is only uh, probably about a quarter maybe less than that maybe a sixteenth even the plate thinking about it 3 mil, yeah, about 16th. Um, so if you're kicking its head in all day, this will over overheat this tank. It's a big, powerful forge. And for that reason, when I'm forge welding, you'll see that I've got a trickle feed in and out. Um, so the air is controlled from under here. Got a bounce castle blower to the feed. This is the three-way valve assembly. So there's your air lever, your air valve. And then that moves this beast. A bit of counterweight there, because I'm not exactly a, a scientist when it comes to working out pressures and weights. So there's the top of the valve. And you'll see there's a slide in there with the hole cut out, and that hole when it's closed matches the hole for the air that flows through. If you don't have that in and you just bleed the air off, one, you'll still get air blowing into your fire, and two, what you'll find is because the huge amount that's coming up past here, it'll actually backdraft and you actually start sucking the fire through your fire, uh, your air tube into your water tank, um, which obviously is not good. So, three way valve, pretty much necessity, or to be able to just turn it off completely. I like the three way valve something satisfying about keeping the blower going at the same speed I mean, the blower is not really like loading, loading up and down all the time which is quite nice so there it is uh, you get some pretty monstrous clinkers out of it as you would expect from a coke fire um, so sort of every hour or so you know you'll let it cool down dig it out Pull some of these out of it. There's usually enough stuff to keep it going. No problem. So there you go. Quick look see. Hope that answers any questions anyone's got. If not, ask away. Thank you very much. Enjoy.